With today's modern technology, capturing an image is as simple as taking out your phone and pressing on the screen. With images so readily available, most artists rely heavily on photography to create their work of art. We have it good, but this sweet life is only as old as your grandparents. For hundreds of years leading up until now, artists have had to rely on their own eye and not a camera's lens to create art. One of the best techniques artists have used to train the eye and increase their artistic ability is drawing from observation. Many an artist has set up bottles, fruit, and other items on table to draw, shade, and paint in a still life. Models have patiently stood still while artists captured their form in paper or canvas. Easels have held canvases in place in the sun, rain, and even at night so artists could capture the effects of light reflecting off surfaces. Observational art isn't always created for aesthetic reasons. Naturalists have used artist renderings of animals to identify species, and scientists and engineers have relied on artist illustrations to demonstrate through images how things work or fit together. So what will this unit's objective be? Well, you'll be asked to dig deeper into the world of observational art, exploring different types of work from still lifes to portraits to scientific illustrations. And next, you'll complete a few small challenges in your sketchbook, possibly sketching urban landscapes, sketching from nature, or capturing the movement of the figure. Finally, you can complete your own observational artwork. So, if this sounds like the unit for you, then click on the next section, Artists Observe, Digging Deeper.